Hola, hello. It is part two of two, finally. Actually, I just posted part one a few days ago, so it's not finally. We're just going to finish this off and uh, connect the cups. You're going to yarn over and make a loop. And then we are going to start single crocheting. You skip the first one, and then you do lots of single crochets across right side facing. All right, so you're just gonna see me do single crochets on this one cup at the bottom, all the way across to till I add the other cup in. We're gonna chain two shortly here at this corner where we hit a double crochet, chain two, double crochet in part one. So, so single crochet into the corner and then chain two, two, connect with a single crochet to the right side facing other cup. There we go. I just did it. They're connected now. Now we're gonna go on across and then we are going to turn and end up on the wrong side where the loose ends are. I don't have very many of them because remember I didn't cut my pieces as I went along. I just kind of work them upwards from part one. I didn't, the cutting method makes you have to weave in way too many ends when you're changing colors. All right, so work your way on across to the end and then you're gonna turn and then you're gonna go on the wrong side and just do single crochets all the way back across. Of course, you skip the first one. Um, otherwise, you will be increasing and we don't want an increase. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all these single crochets across, turn, at the corner and continue on. Right, so now you have your cups connected and now you're gonna get ready to chain 22 for a small. Add another five for a large, extra large on both sides because this 22 that you're gonna be doing, you're gonna do it on both sides. gonna learn how to lace through the back how I'm gonna show you how to make the little eyelets it's not hard so that's what we're gonna be doing soon all right so now we're gonna single crochet all the way across the whole other side so you're gonna pass the two cups the two triangles single crochet all the way over and then you're going to do another chain 22 for the other side so you're just going to repeat what we're doing now what we have done so this part is going to be sped up now because i'm just going to be single crocheting i'll try to cut it down a little bit so you don't have to watch it the whole time but yeah as you can see we're just making the side and back bands right here
right, so now we are back to where the cups and the body of um, the top is. You can see here, I'm just single crocheting across, connecting it all from where we did the chain 22. This close up shows that we have three rows of single crochets so far. So the first two single crochet um, rows are just along the body and then we work out the 22 on each side. basically you're going to connect the chain four to the last single crochet that you had made before you chained four. That creates a little loop where you'll be able to lace through later. All right and here is the loop. You can see it right there. Let me take that out because it pulled on the string but and then you can see I've already started to work again on the way down back to doing single crochets all the way across to the other side. Once I get to the other strap part, I'll do the same thing. I will turn, or well, I'll chain four, and then I will turn, and then I'll connect it to the last single crochet I had made. And we're just gonna continue to do this. We'll do this like four or five times, where we keep working across and then doing the little loops.
right? So we worked across single crochets to the other side and we're about to do our little chain four turn and connect on this side now. So there's nothing else to the process, y'all. We're gonna do this a few times, just all single crochet across, do our little loops on both sides. I think I do it like four times, and then we'll do our, um, with a different color, we're gonna chain about 66 to 86, depending on how long you need it, according to your size, to create like a little string, like a shoe string, lacing string, to lace through the little holes. Right, we're gonna skip ahead here we're on basically our last chain four turn connect finishing this off finally and then um, you'll see the lacing and you need to tie in your loose ends you'll need to um, block it etc remember to block so that you get the proper shaping um, of your top
the eyelets there and now I'm gonna chain out to 52 inches to make a long piece that can lace through the back. I cut a length of 90 inches and then I fold it in half and I'm gonna do a lark's head knot to the top, um, the center hole up there where we would do the chain two, the double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, so that I can start to do a, I'm gonna do a bunch of chains to create the uh, tie that's gonna go around the neck. So I'm gonna do that on both sides. All right, the two parts that a lark's head knotted on at the top, and I'm going to chain them out together so the two pieces are going to chain together.